I wanna show you five really useful ways for taking a screenshot on any Mac computer. I'll show you here on my iMac, but if you have a MacBook, MacBook Pro, the process is exactly the same on all Mac computers. Let me open up a web page here. So the fastest way is Command, Shift, and number three. You have to just press those at the same time. And you see right here, it took a screenshot. If I click on it, this is the screenshot. And you could mark it up if you quickly click on the preview. So you could go ahead and sign it, you go ahead and add text and shapes. All kinds of items are available here. And this basically, the screenshot, let me go ahead and minimize this page. It shows up on your desktop. So it shows up right here where it says screenshot. This is the one right here. And this is the screenshot I just took if you wanna send it from here. But there are more options. That's just a full screenshot. Okay, the other option is Command Shift 4. This one I use all the time because you get this target right here and you could select just a section. So I could just go ahead and drag over this section, for example, and let go right here. And again, I could click on the preview and mark it up. And it will also show in the same spot on my desktop. So again, if I minimize this page, I could find it over here. This is the screenshot I just took with Command Shift 4. Next one I'll show you is Command Shift 4 and Spacebar. Okay, so that's four buttons you gotta press, but you can now take a picture of an entire window. So if I select here, again, let me show you this. It did not show the top menu on my computer, for example, just a browser window that I had open. This one is useful and I use this one all the time. I'll close that, it's on my desktop again. Then you have Command Shift 5. And with Command Shift 5, you get this entire menu. So I'll show you a couple of different options here. The first one lets you either capture your entire screen. Okay, that was Command Shift 4. It lets you do a select a window, Command Shift 4 plus spacebar, or select a portion. And this one, you could move around and you could highlight the portion you want. So if you just wanted to take a picture, and it will remember this selection, by the way. So every time you come back and click this, it's gonna remember the previous selection. You could also record your entire screen. This is for the video option. So these are for screenshots, these are for video. And under options, you have a lot of ways to change how this saves. So if you don't want it to save it to your desktop, you could actually save it to your documents folder or directly to mail. You could have a timer if you're recording video, for example, and you could change your microphone in the case of recording video. So if I have it on these first options, you could see I just press capture and it'll take a screenshot. But if I press command shift five again, I could go to these options and press record and it will record my entire screen as a video. You could see this option shows up on top. I could press this and this is an actual video I just recorded. Okay, so more than a screenshot, but I wanted to show you that too in this video. And those are all the options for taking a screenshot on your Mac. I'll see you on the next video.